Howdy, Jason here, and today in the AutoEdit Garage, I'm going to show you a little tip, uh, pro tip, life hack trick on how to make your tires look super rad on the cheap. Now, I learned this from one of my automotive mentors years ago, and I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, it works with uh, some household products here. You got uh, some Pledge is actually the product that you're going to use, but uh, just to save a little money, you could actually use the generic version of it, but since this is a YouTube video and for you guys, I went top shelf and actually bought some name brand stuff. So we're gonna use that. Let's get started on the Jeep tire, but I'm gonna show you on a bunch of things and I'm gonna bring you into the Mustang and show you what's been going on in that and a kind of a teaser on what's gonna be coming up video-wise later this week. Now the reason for the pledge as opposed to just an armor all is that on, if you don't want that like super drippy, wet, show car-y look on your tires, which I don't really like, you know, and like for like a concourse or like a really traditional restoration or, you know, just a good, handsome looking car, I just want a deep, rich looking rubber on here. I don't want it to look like it's, you know, you touch it and you're just gonna have slime on your fingers. And I don't like the buildup that Armor All uh, eventually does. Now this tire, if you noticed, um, had Pledge on it a while ago and then now it's just plain. Now, if you're starting from scratch, you would go ahead and use whatever product you want, like this is the internet, so I'm sure you guys have some even cooler tricks to just clean up the, the surface. Now, what I like about that is that, look at that, that's just, there's no buildup, there's no nothing. Um, I'm not cleaning tonight, so we're just gonna do this little, little thing here. So what you do now, you just kind of have this nice clean tire. Um, the letters are just pretty nice on here from the last time I washed it, and that's another thing. Another thing I like about this is that it just wears off. It doesn't build up over time, and it gives you a in-between. It's like a semi-gloss finish. So watch this, you just put it on, spray that stuff on there. And now I got the, the, the pledge, so it's a little bit more expensive than the no-name stuff, but it's still cheaper than Armor All. And wait till you see what this looks like. Put a just healthy dose of that on there. And then all I do is just take a little brush or something, just let that sit for a second, and I just kind of just wipe that down. Okay, just rub that in. All the nooks and crannies will get that. And it lasts, it seems to last for just the right amount of time too. And it doesn't collect a lot of dirt, which is another cool thing I like about this. Now, so as you can see, I kind of put a little bit too much on, get a little excited, you know, the cameras get rolling and what I tell you, you get, get out, things get out of control. So, but there you go, kind of give you the idea. Now, since I did put so much on, I'm just gonna take a little rag and just wipe, wipe some of the, clean these letters off here. Keep those looking good. Wipe a little bit of the, the top sheen off and then that's it. Look at that. See now that to me is just a really handsome looking tire. It's not too drippy, shiny, wet looking but it's really, really nice looking tire. So this is the pledge trick that I've learned over the years and give it a try and you might like it. I'll go ahead and get the rest of the tires done on the Jeep here since uh, you know we're in the mode. Same thing, just get a good healthy spray onto these things. And since this stuff you can get on sale cheap, it is actually cheaper than at least Armor All I've noticed. Now another thing I want to pay attention to or talk about again really quick is these Rugged Ridge XHD wheels here. People asked about these a bunch when I was in Moab and in some of the other videos and uh, they're really handsome wheels and I really encourage you to go to the Rugged Ridge website to check these things out because uh, they stand out, they work great. Here's an, actually a really cool little feature. I bashed these things on a rock when I was in Moab just because I'm new and that's just kind of what you do when you're wheeling your stuff and that's awesome. Now this right here is called a rock protector and it did its job. Check this out right here. I just hammered this thing and it scratched this thing up. So all I would have to do now is just repaint that thing black and it's good, protected those wheels. So that's just kind of a really cool feature. They're not, uh, 
beadlocks, and I don't need beadlocks because I'm not that kind of rock crawler, so they, they served that purpose perfectly. They were rim protectors and they actually did their job. Pretty cool. All right, since we got, now since we got that on, I'll do the same thing I did to that back one and just kind of dab this stuff around so you don't have any just sitting there and get it into the nooks and crannies, make them look real good. <clears throat> and that's it. I'll do a quick uh, wipe down on the rims, but boy, look at that. Look how handsome that looks. And to me, everybody has their own tastes, obviously, right? So this is what I have come to really like. See that? Not too shiny, just right. I love that. And because it's kind of just like a wax on here, it doesn't have any, it doesn't fade or crack or do any of that weird stuff that some of the other products I've used have done. And it just wears off, which I like. Just when you're, when, after a little bit of time, just it comes off and you put it back on. You just clean the tires and then you just reapply. So you can see this to me is a super handsome setup. I really like this. It's the perfect mixture of just dark rubber, but not super shiny, drippy, weird, uh, glossy. And uh, it's still aggressive and then it still protects the tire and it lasts just the right amount of time where you can, it just comes off, it doesn't build up and it just, you put it right back on after you, the next few washings or whatever. So it's pretty cool. Now let's go put that on the Mustang tire. And I'll show you how on a normal car tire, it still looks just as good. Check this out. Likewise for car tires, so this is actually, I learned this trick on car tires and carried this over and just love the way it looks on the big high profile um, uh, off-road tires. But check this out, same thing. These are the tires on the Mustang. Uh, these are actually new, so the, these haven't seen the, the, the light of day yet other than just in the driveway, but this works exactly the same. You just get a little coating on there like that. I do the same drill. Just do a light rub in with this thing. And look at that. This just helps me get it into the treads here on the end and make it look real pretty. I mean, real handsome. And there you have it. Look at that. See, to me, that is just perfect. Nice and dark and rich, but not too glossy and weirdly car showy. Not that that's a bad thing, you know, that's, everybody has their own taste and there's a, a end game for all of this stuff, but this is what I want to drive my cars around and have them look like. So that's why I, once I learn this, this is what I do. Check that out. Pretty darn handsome, I think. So let me show you what's going on in the engine bay of old Large Marge here because uh, something really exciting happened last weekend. Yeah, I mounted the engine and it's pretty awesome. I will probably shoot a video this weekend, or at least in the next few days, of how I got that done and how everything's looking. There's actually a transmission in there, a cross member, engines mounted. Um, it's coming along. There's a lot of work to do left in there. Let's go in there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Since the 1973 Mustang is such an odd duck, I ended up having to make my own engine mounts from a Total Control Products adjustable Ford kit. It looks pretty good so far, and I'll go into more detail in a future video, but yeah, buddy, there's an engine in there. So there you have it. We have uh, a pro tip or life hack trick on how to make your tires really handsome. Uh, we also have a big swing, a big chunk of work done on Large Marge here, and that's really exciting to have the engine inside this thing. Now, don't forget to check back later this week when I try to get that video up on how I did that and made the motor mounts and uh, Transmissions in everything's looking really good on this thing So I'll have a video catch up on all of that and how that that went plus don't forget to follow me on the Instagram auto edit Jason there or on the Facebook I actually try to post something almost every single day over there So you can interact with me there all the time or find out what's going on uh, on the daily and Don't forget to check back for more videos here and subscribe if you can and share until next time. Enjoy your drive <laughs>